I've been quiet for a bit, working a ship. Major evolution to the AI and ICP story still coming. Well, we finally have that major evolution to artificial intelligence as Dominic Williams gave a keynote speech at the Tech Forum in Argentina. And wow, 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 what ICP is going to do. We're going to share that in this video. We're also going to take a look at an ICP chart and why one signal is flashing a big move has come in for ICP. I'll go over that at the back end of the video. So like the video, subscribe, and let's get started. Now, if you missed it, Dominic Williams, chief scientist at Definity, gave a keynote speech at the Tech Forum in Argentina, where Argentinian President Javier, Miel, uh, Javier Millet also spoke. And some of the things that Dominic shared, uh, I'll put it to you this way. Um, you sitting at home watching this video, uh, in the very, very near future, you're going to be able to write code without having to know anything about writing code. Launch apps without knowing anything about how to launch apps. Revolutionizing not just the cryptocurrency space, but the overall workspace as well. A lot of exciting things. Let's start with the video from Dominic Williams. Now, I did fast forward a little bit to where he specifically spoke on this major revolution that he alluded to in his previous post on X. How it is and how it's going to be, I will momentarily pause these vi the video and kind of share my thoughts, but a lot of exciting things, so play, pay very close attention. Here we go. So the future is going to look very different. So today, first of all, like this is today's paradigm when you create a web application, right? If you're an individual and you want to create a web application, you kind of have to start learning. Um, there's a bunch of technical skills you need to absorb and master HTML, CSS, and so on, just to create the content in the web browser. Um, but you're going to need some, some web page scripting skills, database setup, uh, backup and restore, uh, cloud setup, things like Kubernetes to orchestrate it, so security admin, and, th and, and so on. So think about the, the barrier to entry on that level, right? If you're going to do it yourself, unless you're very well versed in coding and writing scripts and language, you're not going to have the time, let's face it, most people, especially here in the U.S., are so busy working two, three jobs just to pay the bills, they don't really have time to sit there and take a class or learn how to code, and so they skip the process altogether. Then he goes on to the other two scenarios of where we are today, and then he goes on to talk about the solution that ICP is creating. Um, if you're a small company, probably you're not going to try and learn all these things yourself, you're, you're, you're going to hire people like a designer, a front-end UX guy um, or girl, uh, back-end scripter, database admins, uh, cloud admins, security people, and so on. Now, think about all the money that a startup company has to spend if they do want to develop an app or have some sort of artificial intelligence uh, integrated into their project or their company that is a large chunk of money that you're going to have to spend that maybe you can't raise. And so that is another problem that uh, that Dominic's going to talk about. The new revolution is going to be solving. Uh, and then there's one more thing he talks about with the uh, as far as the pain points. He's going to talk about corporations and governments. Let's take a listen. If you're a corporation or a government, um, you really need to start talking. You know, you the, the the eventual owners of this thing are going to talk to their manager, who's going to talk to the CIO, who's going to talk to the CFO, who's going to talk to the CIO, who's going to talk to the IT consultants, who are going to talk to the app owners. It's just a lot of talking. In fact, you, you definitely, if you want to create a web application, you probably definitely want to be an individual or a small company, not not a um, somebody working in a corporate or government department. That's actually the worst situation. Um, so... This is the future Internet Computer Protocol times AI paradigm. Um, and instead of, you know, all of that, you instruct AI, and then the apps that you want materialize on, on ICP. So to create an app, you will um, describe the app that you want to the AI. And the AI will just give you a URL. Think about that for a second. You can open up <laughs> an AI app and say, hey, man, I want to create an application that allows people to, to 
research cryptocurrency projects and I want them to be able to see which ones have the most liquidity, which ones have the most volume, but also want them to see how the sentiment is on social media platforms such as X or Discord or Telegram. Uh, and I want to have some safeguards in place to make sure that, you know, people have the, the least amount of risk to lose money. Uh, you can say that to this AI bot and then the AI will return a URL of a completed app that you can go in and continue to make better. Um, let's, let's take a listen to what he, he continues. This, this, this video gets even better. And, uh, you know, you can open the URL in your web browser and there's your app. And you can start using it. And no doubt you'll find things that you want to improve, change. So step three, you, you describe to the AI how you want to improve the app. Step four, uh, you refresh the app's URL that it gave you in the first place, and you'll see the changes to your app. You jump back to three. Keep on going like that. Just tell the AI what you want, what you want to change, how you want to improve it. Um, and this will work with uh, applications, enterprise systems, for example, that are running in production because there are technologies that make it possible for the AI, firstly, to describe these web applications in a very abstract form and just update them by uploading the code. And there are technological features that prevent data being lost as the AI um, evolves them. And this will reduce the uh, time, risk, and money involved in creating web applications by orders of magnitude essentially making everyone a developer. If you can speak, it works funnily enough. Essentially making everyone a developer. If you can speak, it works. Think about that. This is the future we're going into where anyone can talk into a phone and say, these are the things I want to create in an app and leveraging ICP, it'll create the app for you on the internet computer protocol. Um, you want to talk about revolutionary. Uh, this is what ICP can do with their tech stack, uh, hosting everything on chain 100%. And, and you can see here, I won't play the video, but you can, you can screenshot this on your phone if you're watching. And it talks about the different ways of how this thing can do, right? Secure. It could be sovereign. He talks about organizations own their logic and data and depend on nobody. So you don't have a person creating it, you have an AI agent creating it. Depending on what jurisdiction you are, uh, you don't have to worry about being against the law here. And so just absolutely amazing. So big shout out to Dominic Williams and the entire team at Definity. Uh, I will link this video with the timestamp of when Dominic Williams was speaking at the Tech Forum so you guys can go watch the whole video. Highly, highly recommend it if you haven't done so. So big shout out to them. How could this... How could, how could this change the entire landscape of not just cryptocurrency, but artificial intelligence, turning everyday people into app developers without having to learn a single line of code? That is absolutely amazing. Now, what can this do to the ICP token? I want to take you back to what happened during Bob.Fun. Bob.Fun launched. It was wildly successful. We saw the usage go up. We saw tokens being burnt. The ICP token became deflationary, which in turn caused the price to go up as cycles were being burnt. This can have a similar effect, but in orders of magnitude 10, 20, 30 fold, as people catch on to what is happening, go in and have a great, everyone has a great idea, right? We all have amazing ideas at some point, but where people fail is the execution, whether it's I don't have time, I don't have resources, I don't have money, or I just don't have the, I don't know, I don't have the energy to do it. All you got to do is open up your app, pick up your phone and speak into it. That's how easy it's going to be in the future. And it's all going to be happening on ICP. Now we take a look at ICP's price. Currently at a absolute steal at $8.00. Now, ICP, I've had these boxes drawn iron for quite a long time. Outside of one deviation going all the way back to August of this year, August 1st, uh, we kind of been in this in this parallel channel here between the $6.80 to the upper end of around $8.86. This was essentially the Bob Da Fun pump where we saw ICP go from a low of around $6.80 to over $10. So uh, almost a 2X from ICP, which is... One dap being successful 
on the internet computer protocol. Imagine thousands of applications being created, leveraging ICP and the AI paradigm. Now, one thing I do want to point your attention to is this trading strategy that is so simple, uh, you can probably teach your grandmother how to do it. So this is the liquidity flow index. This is our custom indicator here at Sin City Crypto. And we've created a very solid, simple, easy trading strategy around it. This gray line, the price sentiment, right? This Or the, the sentiment. This is where we trade. So we take, if we cross above the midline, we enter into a long position. If the price sentiment drops below the midline, we take a short position. And every single time this has crossed above the midline, ICP's price has rallied, as you can see here. Where are we at right now on the daily? We have literally just crossed, and I will zoom in so you guys can see, we have literally just crossed above the midline on ICP. Now, of course, these things could be invalidated. It could start trending back down. It can get rejected at the midline, but the probabilities are pretty high that this thing is going to reverse as far as the price and continue to roll up. Also, we take a look at the money flow. This is going all the way back to October 12th. Money flow has been steadily increasing as price has been decreasing. So there's a divergence there. So the gap is going to fill, meaning the price should react to the money inflows, throw on top of everything happening and the price sentiment changing for ICP. I would expect immediate resistance right at that $8.70 level. So if you're trading this, you're a swing trading, you're trying to scalp some profits, throwing a little bit of leverage on there and cashing out, uh, putting a stop loss or putting a take profit right under this $8.70. Uh, the upper bound of that's going to be that $9, but we could see a complete breakthrough above both these trend lines and retest that local high of around $9.90. At the end of the day, ICP is a long play, but doesn't mean we can't make money with it in the short term, but this is something you don't want to not have in your portfolio. You want to have this thing in your portfolio because what ICP is doing, not just with AI, but with interoperability, with hosting everything on the front end, with no cloud, uh, cloud storage, everything is 100% on chain, infinitely scalable. Uh, we're super bullish on ICP here. Let us know if you're bullish on the internet computer protocol in the comments section. Like the video and come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one.